Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is this um, footage from Weymouth Dorset. I think it's in the UK. I also have a compilation video. This is um, three clear videos of what is believed to be UFOs. And then I got this one here, which is um, actually kind of hard to see. There's, You can see right here this little um, object here. It's definitely strange because it moves to the spot, stops, and then takes off and disappears. And I don't believe this person was intending to um, capture it. I think they were just trying to get, get, get this scenery here. Um, also got this video here from Reddit of a fireball in Brazil, just posted a couple days ago. And this was um, also from Reddit. This was a, a sphere that um, fell in this district in India. <clears throat> this is very similar to, you know, these um, spheres that have been caught on video. And I've also seen videos where people have found these things on the ground and kept them for a long time. And they say that um, there's a lot of weird things that go on with them. And let's see, and then this is from Twitter. This is this guy, Ronnie Burnett from Brazil. Uh, and in this clip, uh, I think these residents are talking about seeing, you know, this object, but apparently for, for I think, I don't know if it's a couple of days or a couple of weeks, they claim to have been being, being attacked by these like seven foot tall alien beings that are floating. They say they have some kind of device on their feet that allows them to float. And um, they've been asking the authorities to come and investigate, but you know, some some of the media is trying to claim that there are they are miners that are just trying to scare the residents out of the area so they can continue to mine and take over the take over the area. But um, yeah, this guy here, he actually has um, a lot of footage of uh, you know th these things that are going on and clips of uh, some of the villagers. Um, asking for help and talking about uh, what's going on. And then last is this article here that uh, talks about new evidence for oceans of water deep in the earth, water bound in a mantle rock, alter a view of the earth's competition or composition. And, you know, I, I've heard that, um, or I read in some other uh, reports that uh, there's more water on the interior of the planet than there are than there is on the surface of the planet. So, you know, again, you know, like I've, I've been saying a long time that uh, we have some species that actually live in the, uh, in the oceans and in the uh, deep earth caverns, but probably also in the core, since, you know, since there's just so much space out there. And if you really take into consideration <clears throat> um, the amount of space like you know our our civilization or our cultures actually inhabit on the surface right we only inhabit a real a uh, small percentage of the uh, total surface area so you know if there's areas within the core of the earth um I, yeah it wouldn't surprise me that in certain areas right again you know a small percentage of the, you know of the available space in the inner core or you know here in the upper mantle or you know uh, or in between the upper mantle and lower mantle that yeah there could definitely be you know enough space for some of these advanced civilizations to have existed you know for as long as um a lot of people are complaining or are uh claiming but anyways um if you appreciate the uh time and effort that i put into these videos please share these videos please hit that like button and more importantly definitely subscribe it really helps me out but anyways let's uh check out this video here genuine ufo footage from weymouth dorset this is from 1998 something that we were completely alone in the universe but at the same time um you know i only i only i only filmed and saw what i saw yeah well, to people who say that it must be a plane or something like that, I'd say, you know, just take a long, hard look. Yeah, come on. Does that honestly look like a plane? And right, how many planes can just hover 
hover um, stationary. This thing because it just doesn't look like any of those things. And, um, you know, I can't imagine how anyone could think it was anything like that. After two minutes or so, I think, it actually flew, I, what I, I'm, I'm not sure entirely, but I think it was right overhead. And um, it had sort of turned into like a black circle, and all I could see was just this kind of black circle. Yeah. I wasn't frightened. Or Anyways, that's that um, clip. Uh, links will be in the description. Now, this one is, like I said, it's a compilation. It's got, um, it shows three different UFOs. Let's see, I think we've got this one here. This UFO was filmed in Costa Rica in 2017. As you can see, the UFO was moving at a medium speed, which allowed many people to see it. It was also noted that this UFO is identical to the one seen in the video footage released by the Pentagon. I wonder if this is some kind of military facility. Look at that nice close-up. Uh, let's see, we also have this one here. I think this is the one that um, flies by a plane. Yeah, watch this thing. This UFO footage was captured by pilot Jorge Arteaga while he was flying over Antioquia, Colombia, this year. This UFO passes very quickly next to the plane. You will notice it better in the slow motion scene. Let me see if I can stop this thing here. Yeah, look at that thing. You know what? It's, it's one of those saucers that uh, flies sideways when it's actually in movement. And then we got another one here, a UFO captured by a plane. While someone is filming a video from inside the bird, this UFO passes by it at a crazy speed. Notice that the plane is flying very fast. It was also observed that the... Yeah, look at that classic saucer look. Anyways, that's that. Link will be in the description. Uh, let's see. Yeah, now this one, you know, yeah, you're definitely going to have to um, check out the link yourself because... It's really hard to see, but you know, <clears throat> you can see my cursor circling this little thing. Let me just move back a little when it, it's gonna um, move to this position, stay stationary for a while and then take off. Yeah, there it is right there. slowly moving down and then there it takes off again then it just disappears and uh, let's see I don't think it comes back yeah no it doesn't come back anyways that's that real quick video uh, let's see also got this one here from reddit uh, UAP fireball in the sky of Brazil let me go full screen on this. Yeah, you see, I don't think this is a meteor, because typically meteors have a bunch of debris flying off of it, you know, burning debris. This is just a fireball, and, you know, this is this is something that has been filmed multiple times, or something similar. Yeah, and I don't think they're uh, meteors or, you know, fireballs. I, I think they're actually some type of craft. Yeah, that's that real short clip. Also have this one here from Reddit of a, in Gwalior district in Mad Madhya Pradesh state of India. I don't think I'm saying that properly. A sphere-like object fell from the sky onto a field. Similarities to Betts and Nimitz sphere. So let me just actually let me just start this right here. <laughs> जहां से स्टाफ मौके पर पहुंचा और पुलिस अफसरों ने ग्रामीणों को दूर रहने की हिदायत देकर आला अधिकारियों को सूचना दी है आपको बता दें कि गोला जौरा शामपुर गांव में शुक्रवार दोपहर करीब एक बजे गिरा ये क्या और किस धातु का है फिलहाल ये स्पष्ट नहीं हो पाया है पुलिस ने वैज्ञानिक जांच के बाद स्थिति स्पष्ट होने की बात कही है ग्रामीणों का कहना है 
कि ये गोलाकार वस्तु आसमान से घूमती हुई खेत में आकर गिर गई इसके बाद घूमते हुए एक जगह से दूसरी जगह पर पहुंच गई। गोली की जांच के लिए ग्वालियर के विशेषज्ञों की टीम को भीतरवार बुलाया गया है साथ ही आपको बता दें कि बम निरोधक दस्ता भी पहुंच रहा है प्राथमिक तौर पर has who was in possession of a very similar sphere that he also says um, fell out of the sky and then he also claims um, does a lot of weird things uh, a lot of weird uh, anomalies associated with it but anyways um let's go on to this one here now this guy here ronnie burnett like i said you know he's got a bunch of videos seems to be from brazil electronics and computer engineer at petrobas physicist msc student uap research teacher and founder let me just play a little bit of this. Remember, this is um, uh, taken from a village that claims to um, to be being attacked by um, some some seven foot tall aliens that um, have the ability to float, and that they're you know they're dressed in some type of shiny outfit. <laughs> Amigo, este, eh, en este momento hay un pequeño oh, alboroto. You know what I find strange is, um, you know, even though this is a live, you know, um, uh, from a village. Right in the backwoods of uh, Brazil, I'm pretty sure a lot of these, a lot, a lot of people in this village, you know, most likely have cell phones, and if uh, they've been being attacked for so long, how come there isn't more footage of um, of these of these beings? But anyways, yeah, you should go check out this Ronnie Vernet's, you know, page. He's got a lot of um, clips. UFO beings witness from Clares. Let's see. Here it is. This is the one they talked about. The floating luminous beings were also spotted at indigenous Buena Vista community at Arabella River in Peru, Laredo, a few days ago near the border with Ecuador. The meeting happened August 21st when the surveillance group was explaining the situation to people. Check some of this out. Yeah, yeah, you are uh, see, Aquí están todos los padres de familia con seis escopetas, señores de la UGED, a ver qué decisiones toman frente a esta situación que estamos pasando aquí en la comunidad de Buenavista, profesor de Jorge Sopli, a ver si puedes apoyar qué, qué es lo que debemos hacer con, con los estudiantes mayormente, porque estamos corriendo riesgo tanto los estudiantes, los, los profesores y la comunidad en general. Yeah, and you know, yeah, she's she's referring to these these beings at the Fela Car, which is um, uh, face terrors or something like that, or um, face rippers or something like that, from my understanding. But anyways, like I said, you know, this guy's got a, a lot of clips here. Here's a clip of these people actually um hunting down. I have obtained original video that proven media was reporting weeks ago. It shows a moment the surveillance group from San Antonio encounters white luminous phenomena in the air and start to shoot. The video also showed the description and appeal to authorities. Yeah, these guys are saying um, that even when they shoot at them, that they have some type of armor that, you know, the bullets have no impact. Yeah, you see, they're calling them um, Pelicaris. Which is uh, the how oh, I think it was like face rippers or something like that. But anyways, uh, I'll put the link in the description 
to this guy's um, Twitter and you can check out all the videos he has um, on his account and then let's see last is this article here about new evidence for Roche oceans of deep water in the earth schematic cross section schematic cross section of the earth's interior the study by Steve Jacobson and Brandon Schmidt used seismic waves to find magma generated at the base of the transition zone about 410 miles deep dehydration melting at those conditions also observed in the study's high pressure experiments suggests the transition zone may contain oceans worth of H2O dissolved in high pressure rock. The findings alter previous assumptions about the Earth's composition. This is researchers from Northwestern University and the University of New Mexico report evidence for potentially oceans worth of water deep beneath the United States. Though not in the familiar liquid form, the ingredients for water are bound up in rock deep in the Earth's mantle. The discovery may represent the planet's largest water reservoir. The presence of liquid water on the surface is, is what makes our blue planet habitable, and scientists have long been trying to figure out just how much water may be cycling between Earth's surface and interior reservoirs through plate tectonics. Northwestern geophysicist Steve Jacobson and University of New Mexico seismologist Brandon Schmatt have found deep pockets of magma located about 400 miles beneath North America, a likely signature of the presence of water at these depths. The discovery suggests water from the Earth's surface can be driven to such great depths by plate tectonics, eventually causing partial melting of rocks of the rocks found deep in the mantle. Anyways, it's not that long of an article, but I don't want you know I don't want to read the whole thing. Now, if you want to check it out, the uh, link will be in the description. And thank you so much for making it to the end. Uh, if you appreciate the time and effort that I put into bringing this information to you, please give this video a like, please share this video, and more importantly, please subscribe. It'll really help me out. Until next time, take care.